Well, I think like forensic, I think like CSI and that crime drama stuff. So is that the type of forensics type of stuff that you were into or trying to get into? So, something different? Well, okay, so I, I love that you said that, CSI, right? Yeah. So every time I say forensics, that's the first place people's minds go. Like CSI, yeah. law and order, they see it, right? So, you know, so yes, I am into those show, shows, 100%. I love those shows. They're great for the um, the wow factor, right? But what they do is they um, almost oversell what's actually happening, right? So you'll have the one person, they appear on, on the crime scene and they see the dead body. And then I'm going to get the, the sample and I'm going to run to the lab and I'm going to test the sample. And then I'm going to run back to the detective and I'm going to say, hey, detective, I found this in the system. And then I'm going to be in the court. So it makes it seem like it's this one person that's doing all of the things, right? And so when I first was interested in forensic science, that was my mindset, like, oh gosh, that's what I want to do. But in reality, that's not how it works. <laughs> um, there are multiple people that are, are part of that chain, right? And so for me, I'm an analytical chemist, which means I like to take something and break it down mm -hmm. and tell you what's there. And so I was very heavy into drug toxicology and um, physical pattern evidence analysis. And so my research was really focused on, um, at least in my my when I went to my first big girl job was understanding how like drugs, um, how they accumulate in your hair and understanding what different cut like cosmetic treatments um, impact your drug testing capabilities. And so um, I'm so it's could be a piece of CSI, but it's not like what the TV show tells you in CSI. So I was more involved in the research and understanding how well do certain tests work versus um, I'm on, you know, find a dead body and I'm gonna, you know, figure out who done it. Um, it was more about figuring out like how accurate are the tests that are out there? Cause there is a lot of um, biases that exist in some of the tests that are available currently. And so my goal was to really help, you know, remove some of those things and really get to the science behind them. So like one of the big um, research papers that I had um, really early on in my career was understanding how like um, hair relaxers, how they impacted drugs, uh, drug testing. And so there was a ton of studies out there where people had looked at like, you know, perms, hair coloring, shampooing, all these different things, but no one had thought to look at like a relaxer. How does a relaxer affect drug text, drug testing? And me being a black woman, you know, understanding that this is a very common thing, I was like, well, why hasn't anybody tested this? And so I tested, and like it, it you know, it's come to find out, like it's it it um, can sway the results of a drug test, a hair drug test, significantly. Um, and so things like that, um, I was able to cover, uncover simply because of like my identity and bringing the you know the perspective that I have as a black woman to the lab. Um, I also did a lot of research around um, explosives in, in soil and seeing how well you can recover those after the fact and some like uh, methamphetamine remediation, like cleaning up meth labs, how well do those things work? Um, so I was not in the glamorized CSI that most people think about, but I was kind of the behind the scenes and making sure that the technology that's being used or the methods that are being used in some of these tests were accurate. 